BoxingBoys.com. Hit with Dylan Price. Mm -hmm. Another uh, another victim tonight, another right. successful uh, yeah. fight. Right. Uh, break down your performance tonight, champ. I mean, I feel like it was a good performance. You know what I'm saying? It was a great uh, comeback fight. I felt great in there. Um, just working on things, and I'm getting better and better each fight. Uh, looking back at the fight, what would you say that really helped you? Um, things that you were working on, maybe trying to... Uh, things you worked on in the gym that you... I, I was just listening to my dad, you know, um, just taking my time, pacing myself. Uh, it's not a race, it's a marathon, so just pace yourself. And um, you don't got to try to get them out all in one round. Just um, slow walk and take your time. So I just listened to my dad and uh, did what I had to do. Just took it down, loaf by loaf. Now, I uh, thought your work to the body was pretty impressive. Thank you, appreciate um, it. You don't really see too many too many fighters, when, uh, young fighters, that is. Oh, thank you. They hurt somebody. And you know they they want to go for the headshot. She was breaking that body down. Talk right, to us you. about your experience being able to do yeah. that. You know, so young in your career and understanding that the body is what sets everything up. Uh, I mean, again, I get it all from my dad. I just listen to everything he tells me to do. Uh, practice everything he tells me to do, and I just go out there and do it. You know, as long as I listen to my dad and, and, and my team, I'm gonna be a okay. How soon could, could could fans or how soon would you like to get back in the ring? Um, December 28th, there's a big fight in Atlanta. Maybe yeah. get you on that undercard. I'm, I'm looking to get back um, January Jan the 17th or okay. 18th in Philly okay. on the Julian Williams undercard. Okay. So I'm looking to get right back in the gym and, and, and get right back in there. Fight the, that'd be a very, uh, uh, not really a, a hometown fight for you, right. but not far, yeah, yeah, basically yeah. up the street. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. What would that mean to you to get get a fight so close to home, It'll bring, mean bring your fans out? It'll mean the world to me because ever since I turned pro, I never got a chance to fight like close to home. The closest I fought to home was AC. You know what I'm saying? So it'll mean the world to me. I can't wait. I can't wait to get back in there. I'm excited. I feel good, man. I don't even feel like I fought. I mean, obviously, uh, that, that work in the gym. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, at this point, still young, but, you know, what would you like 2020 to look like for you? How many fights, maybe some names, or, you know, set something up for, like, one of those regional titles, youth titles, things like that? Well, I definitely want to fight for some type of title uh, soon. I feel like I'm getting better and better. Uh, I want to go up in the rounds. I want to go up in the competition. I just feel like I'm getting better and better as a fighter, so they better catch me now while I'm learning because, you know. Pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon I'm going to be. The sky's the limit, you know. So now, I'm just, uh, the the fight tonight that was one fifteen. Is that the way yeah. you can't? Yeah, that's it? the way that I fight it. Okay, I, I don't fight this. Every time I fight at one fifteen, I mean this this is like my second time fighting one fifteen. You right. see what happened? You know what I'm saying? I I'm not going up to one eighteen, uh, nothing like that no more. That's not my weight. I'm not right. a banner weight. I'm a super fly weight. I fought at one fifteen. You see what happened? So you know, I feel like um, uh, I'm gonna put the one fifteen division on notice. Uh, I feel like. Well, that's why I want to campaign for a title at me and my dad. So, like I said, uh, I feel like we learning and growing each fight. I'm getting better and better each fight. My conditioning, my confidence, my stamina. So, I feel like I'm the future. You know? Now, uh, a few years ago, that that division was really hot. Yeah. Uh, Chocolatito, Choc yeah. you know, was getting on pay per view cards, right. things like that. What do you think? Uh, you know, because given that that weight class is mostly a lot of international fighters, right. what do you think you would have to do in order to to to, to make noise in that division? And Bring it really popping. Just in. be Dylan Price. You know what I'm saying? That's all I that's all I can do. You know what I'm saying? Do everything I can do. Listen to my dad. Uh, listen to my dad, listen to my team, and whatever happens, happens. But I know I know uh, uh, I have a, a crowd pleasing style and things like that, so I don't have to try to go out there and do anything extra. Just be myself and and, and all of that, the fame, the money, all the stuff gonna come. Well, champ, congratulations on your victory tonight. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. Let the fans know where they can keep up with you on social media. You can follow me on Instagram at Dylan the Real Deal Price, and that's it. Thank you again right, for no your time, problem. brother. Thank you. And the last time I was out Vegas, y'all counted me out. Y'all thought it was over, but I had my dad with me, my team, and and my heavenly father Yahoo, and I'm back, baby, and I'm here to stay. Now, um, it was crazy because with that fight, yeah, yeah, that was. If I'm not mistaken, that was at 118, right? 118. And he missed the weight. And on he top missed the weight. That, on top of that. Right. Um, and he was on steroids. Right. He he, yeah. he uh, popped hot yeah. after the fight. Since you brought it up, can you kind of talk about the adversity? Because nonetheless, it was still a learning experience. Yeah, sure. You know, um, having a, at that time, you know, to, to face defeat. Right. But talk to us about the adversity and how, how you've learned from that, nonetheless. Um, first, my support system. Again, my dad, you know, my mom. I... I just owe him so much, you know what I'm saying? I don't want his hard work to go in vain. He do so. He a manager. He my 
really my promoter, my coach, my dad, my friend, my mentor. You know, he everything to me. So without him, I wouldn't even. I don't even think I would be correct mentally after that fight. But um, I'm not going. I'm tough. You know what I'm saying I'm a price. Prices don't quit. I'm not just going. People thought I was just going to sit down and lay over. Even if it was still a loss on my record, you know what I'm saying okay. I got to get up and get back to the drawing board and do what I got to do. People were just expecting me to just lay down and, and give up. Nah, that's not what I do. Got back to the drawing board, made the adjustments, worked on the things my dad told me to work on, and here we are today. Absolutely. Well, champ, like I said, thank you, brother. Thank Truly appreciate you. No you. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.com. Bachelors to Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys.